Hello, Matu Jameer, you're watching Hornbill TV Prime at 9. India on Monday voted to reject Russia's call to hold a circuit ballot at United Nations General Assembly, UNGA, on a draft resolution to condemn Moscow's attempted illegal annexation of four regions in Ukraine. A public vote will be held now be held later this week in UNG on Russia after its referendum in Ukrainian territories. The UN General Assembly meeting began with a procedural vote on a measure which Russia had flagged proposing that the Ukrainian draft resolution being debated be voted on by secret ballot, not through a public vote. Albania requested an open vote after Russia proposed a secret ballot on the resolution on Ukraine. India voted in favor of a procedural vote called by Albania. Resolution condemning Russia's annexation of four Ukrainian regions was up for adoption at the UNGA where the 193 UN members vote and no one wills a veto. More than 200 families from several villages in Assam's Temaji district have been affected by fresh floods. Triggered by heavy rainfall in the last few days, said the district officials on Tuesday. The water level of the Siang River and several tributaries has been increasing and inundated as many as 10 villages under Junai subdivision in the region following heavy rainfall in parts of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. The flood waters have submerged several hectares of cropland and roads under the Dikari and Dilam village panchayat areas. Many villagers have been forced to leave their homes and take shelter in safer places after flood waters entered their residences. According to local administration, as many as 200 families in the area have been affected by the flood, the officials informed. There is also a food shortage for livestock as well as drinking water and food for many flood-affected people in the area. Time <laughs> এতিয়া আমি হিপার হিপার যাব কারণে আমি আমার মানে বহুত অসুবিধা হইছে থরাসা দেখি থরাসা পারিশান হইছে ইতনা পানি হয়ে যাতে আপনা সিজু বাড়িছে লেকার ই রুকমিনি গাও তক ইতনা পানি সাইকেল লেকার আতা হে ইতনা পারেশান নে হতা হে लेकिन আজ তক কই এসা সব কই বলতা হে যে ই হোগা ও হোগা लेकिन अभी तक कुछ नहीं हुआ खाली आकर न्यूज़ करके दिखाता है फिर भी उन लोग को जो ऊपर वाले लोग है उन लोगों को कोई कान में सुनाई नहीं देता है लेकिन पता नहीं चलता है क्यों नहीं सुनाई देता है लेकिन रोज का तो दिख ही रहा है आदमी इधर से ही सीएम आता जाता रहता है देखता है फिर भी उनको कोई ये नहीं है तो देखिए हम लोग साइकिल लेकर आते हैं ऐसा पैदल भी आ नहीं सकता है इतना दूर इतना इतना पानी हो गया अभी साइकिल डूबने डूबने तक बहुत तकलीफ तो बहुत है अभी ड्यूटी में नहीं आने से समय पर तो हम लोग को तो परेशान है हम लोग ड्राइवर आदमी है बोलेगा इतना लेट क्यों हुआ जब बोलेगा बारिश है तो बोलता है कहाँ बारिश है बारिश तो हुआ ही नहीं उन लोग तो बड़ा बड़ा लोग आदमी लोग ऐसे ही बोलता है हुआ ही नहीं है कहाँ बारिश थोड़ा सा बारिश हुआ है लेकिन जब बिल्डिंग के नीचे से निकलेगा तभी पता चलता है उन लोग को पता चलता है सब कुछ चलता है ये सब चलने के भी दिखाई नहीं पड़ता उन लोग को मतलब अनदेखा हो जाते हैं इसके बारे में और क्या बताएं हर रोज का बात यही है देख ही रहा है देख कर हर रोज का ये बात बोलने का कोई फायदा ही नहीं है क्योंकि बोल ही रहा है आज कितना साल से हो रहा है ये खाली फ्लाई ओवर ये हुआ वो हुआ ऐसे बोलता है तो वो सब बोलने से क्या हो अली गली थोड़ा 
संभालना चाहिए ना तभी जाकर फ्लाई ओवर में चढ़ पाएगा ना आदमी जब गली से आदमी निकल नहीं पाएगा तो फ्लाई ओवर चढ़ कर क्या होगा The Special Vigilance Unit conducted raids at the residence of Purnia Superintendent of Police, Daya Shankar, said the officials on Tuesday. The searches were held in connection to his alleged possession of disproportionate assets worth almost 71 lakhs. The raids by several departments were also simultaneously conducted at the residence of another officer of the police department, Sanjay Singh, who had served as a sub-inspector at many police stations in Purnia. Special Vigilance Unit has registered a case under several sections of the Prevention to the Corruption Act and the Indian Penal Code against Daya Shankar, the officials informed. Daya Shankar is accused of amusing huge assets illicitly and intentionally while holding different posts and being a public servant in Bihar from 2016 onwards, the officials added. Further details are awaited. Earlier in August, the Vigilance Department had raided the premises of the Deputy Superintendent of Police, B.K. Rawat, B.M.P. 3, in connection with the disproportionate assets case. The security forces in Arunachal Pradesh have apprehended a cater of a Naga underground organization, the NSCNKYA. The Longding Battalion of Assam Rifles along with personnel of the Longding Police apprehended one cater of the NSCNKYA from Longding Town on October 10, the ANI stated. There were no details about the identity of the person at the time of this report being filed. The First Brotherhood Coordination Meeting 2022 of the Takroma Youth Organization, Western Sumi Sports Association and Western Takasang Youth Organization for the Second Brotherhood Sports Meet was held on 11th October 2022. The meeting was called by the Takroma Youth Organization and hosted by Ino Jato Kimo, President Takroma Public Organization. The Second Brotherhood Sports Meet shall be hosted by Takroma Youth Organization to be held at DDSC Stadium in the the third week of November. The Delhi Police said that AAP leader and MLA Rajendra Pal Gautam, who is at the center of the convergent event, have been issued a notice to answer a few questions, adding that a fire will be registered only if any cognizable offenses is made. He has been called for an inquiry in connection with an event that took place in Ambednagar Bhavan and for which a complaint was received, says, said DCP of Central District Shweta Chauhan on the notice that was sent to Gautam to appear for inquiry at 2 p.m. today. It's a normal inquiry. Let's see what comes out of it, said the DCP. She further added that he was not questioned yesterday and was only served a notice to come down to police station to answer a few questions. जिसकी कंप्लेन की गई तो ये कंप्लेन हमारे पास रिसीव हुई है उसी कंप्लेन की इंक्वायरी के मध्य नजर उनको बुलाया गया है तो इट्स अ नॉर्मल इंक्वायरी लेट अस सी व्हाट कम्स आउट ऑफ इट मैं उनको कहना था कि कल भी घर पे पूछता थी थी आज थाने में बुलाया गया तो वो उस पर वो थोड़ा सा नहीं कोई ऐसी कल पूछताछ नहीं हुई थी हमने उन्हें कल नोटिस सर्व किया था कि वो थाने में आके कुछ हमारे जो कुछ सवाल हैं जो इंक्वायरी में कुछ सब बातें निकल कर आई हैं तो उनके जवाब दे दें क्या मैम इस मामले में एफआईआर दर्ज हो गई है या फिर आगे किस तरह से कार्रवाई रहेगी अभी इट इज एट द इंक्वायरी स्टेज उसमें जो इंक्वायरी में जो समझ आएगा क्योंकि कंप्लेन मिली है तो उसकी एक लॉजिकल इंक्वायरी होनी चाहिए उसमें जो भी तथ्य निकल कर आएंगे उनको देख के अगर कोई कॉम्पनेबल ऑफेंस बनेगा तो उसमें एफ की जाएगी साउथ अफ्रीका का मैच है आज किस तरह के इंतजाम किए गए सुरक्षा के मद्देनजर कई तरह के अलर्ट भी है तो किस तरह के नहीं काफी दिनों बाद यहाँ पे ये 50 ओवर का मैच होगा जबकि 100 ओवर का मैच होगा तो इसके लिए हमने एक मजबूत अरेंजमेंट किया है काफी मात्रा में पुलिस कर्मी हैं आउटसाइड फोर्स भी मिली हुई है तो ट्रैफिक का पुलिस का भी अरेंजमेंट है एडवाइजरी जारी की गई है ताकि कोई ट्रैफिक जाम की सिचुएशन ना हो और अभी डिप्लॉयमेंट इज ऑलमोस्ट कम्प्लीट लोग स्टेडियम में आ रहे हैं आई होप कि एक अच्छा मैच हो
मैम एक्चुअली कई तरह के अलर्ट भी है और इंटरनेशनल खिलाड़ी यहाँ पर रहेंगे तो थोड़ा इंतजाम में अगर बात की जाए तो किस तरह हमने डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स बनाए हैं जोन्स बनाए हैं और हमने काफ़ी मात्रा में पंद्रह से ज़्यादा पुलिस अब यहाँ डिप्लॉयड हैं और लगातार ए चेक्स होते रहे हैं और जैसा मैं बता रही हूँ कि वी हैव इनफ पुलिस अरेंजमेंट ताकि कोई भी अगर कंटिजेंसी हो कोई भी परेशानी भी हो तो उसको देखने के लिए पूरे अरेंजमेंट किए गए हैं मॉक ड्रिल्स करी गई हैं लगातार ब्रीफिंग्स करी गई हैं मैं समझती हूँ कि हम ये मैच को सुरक्षित तरीके से करवा पाएंगे Kerala police on Tuesday arrested three persons including one woman suspected for luring and killing women allegedly as human sacrifices in black mag magic rituals. Kochi City Police Commissioner C H Nagar Ju said a case was registered by Katavandra Police in Kochi following the report of a missing woman which was filed in September. According to police the incident took place in Patanna Mita district the arrested persons have been identified as one Shafi and the husband wife pair of Bhagwal Singh and Laila the victims used to sell lottery tickets case aanu idu or missing case le nammal investigation cheyumbo or stree de missing case aayirunnu or 50 vayasu missing case stree 26 aam thedi september maasam missing aayirunnu kadavantara police station limit inde അതിൻ്റെ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേഷൻ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലായത് ഈ സ്ത്രീ ഒരു മനുഷ്യൻ്റെ കൂടെ ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് പോയതായിട്ട് മനസ്സിലായി ആ പോയ സ്ഥലം തിരുവല്ല പത്തനംതിട്ടയാണ് അവിടെ ഈ സ്ത്രീ ഒരു രണ്ട് പേര് കൂടെ കൂടിയിട്ട് കൊലപ്പെട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടെന്ന് മനസ്സിലായി അവിടെ കൊലപ്പെട്ടിയ ശേഷം അവിടെ കുടിച്ചിട്ടു എന്ന് ആ കൊലപ്പെടുത്തിയത് തന്നെ ഒരു ഹ്യൂമൻ സാക്രിഫൈസ് ഒരു റിച്വലിസ്റ്റിക് ഹ്യൂമൻ സാക്രിഫൈസ് എന്നാണ് നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലായത് അപ്പോൾ ഇതിൽ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേഷൻ ഇനി ആവശ്യമുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ഇത് മാത്രമല്ല രണ്ടാമത്തെ ഒരു കേസ് കൂടെ ഇതിൽ ഉണ്ടാവാൻ സാധ്യത ഉണ്ടെന്ന് നമ്മൾ അറിയുന്നുണ്ട് അതുകൂടെ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേഷൻ നടക്കുകയാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ Many nations reach and poor big and small lined up at India's door for help in filling the vast essential drug shortage caused by the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak in 2020. India lived up to its reputation of being the pharmacy of the world and acted expeditiously, helping countries around the world to combat the pandemic. India acted for the global good when many other countries engaged in vaccine nationalism. A number of developed Nations including the United States refused to share any surplus vaccines they had manufactured with other struggling countries it was india that came to the rescue Ukraine said Tuesday that it had negotiated the return of dozens of Ukrainian soldiers remains from Russia including servicemen killed at the Olenivka prison which Kyiv said Russian forces had shelled the Ukrainian ministry responsible for separatist held territory said on social media that another transfer took place and 62 fallen heroes were returned home the negotiations were difficult but it was possible to return our soldiers in particular soldiers from Olenvika the post further added on the night of July 29 a powerful explosion rocked a building of the former penal colony number 210 in Olenvika Donsk region where Ukrainian prisoners of war were held according to the Russian side the explosion killed about 50 Ukrainian defenders and seriously injured more than 70 The president of India Tropati Murmu will visit Assam on October 13 and the 14th. It will be Tropati Murmu's first visit to Assam after becoming the president of India informed the Assam Tourism Minister Jayanta Mala Barua on Tuesday. As with Assam Tourism Minister, the president of India will arrive at Guwahati Airport around 1 p.m. on October 13 and attended a pro attend a program at IIT Guwahati. 
Assam Tourism Minister Jayanta Malabaru Atole and I that the President of India would take part in several government programs during her two-day visit to the state. The President of India will inaugurate Dubri Medical College and Hospital and will attend a civic program to be held at Assam Administrative Staff College where more than 500 renowned persons across the state will also participate. Jayanta Malabarua said. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the public meeting at Jamakantorna in Rajkot district of Gujarat today. Being in Jamakantorna is always special, tweeted PM Modi. Chief Minister Pubendra Patel along with Paradha Janata Party leaders of Gujarat were present at the public rally. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is on a Gujarat visit on Monday, laid the foundation stone and dedicated to the nation multiple projects worth over rupees 8,000 crore at Amod Baroj. He laid the foundation stone of Bulk Drug Park at Jambusar, Deep Sea Pipeline Project at Dahej, Phase 1 of Angashwar Airport, and the development of multi level industrial sheds of Angashwar and Panoli. The Prime Minister also dedicated several projects which will give a boost to the chemical sector in Gujarat including GACL plant, Baroch underground drainage and IOCL Dahej Koyali pipeline. He said the foundation stone of Baroch airport in Angeshwar has also been laid so that the people here do not have to depend on Baroda or Surat. The part of the Janata Party National President J.P. Nada asked everyone, including the opposition Congress, to come forward and extend support for the development of Himachal Pradesh. Addressing the public in Bilaspur, Nada advised the audience to vote for one whom they feel is more concerned and sensitive towards their issues regardless of the party. Do not look for PJP or the Congress while voting. See who is concerned for the people, he said, adding that the PJP is concerned for the people. He would even ask Congress persons to come and support the PJP, he said. If he makes roads, universities will only people from the PJP use them, the PJP national president said. After the Maharashtra government transferred the probe in the 2020 Palkar mob lynching case to the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI Union Minister Narvan. Narayan Rani on Tuesday said the matter should be thoroughly investigated and truth should come out. The Ignat Shinde led Maharashtra government today in an affidavit filed before the Supreme Court agreed to transfer an of in investigation into the 2020 Balkar lynching case of Sadhus to CBI. The matter should be investigated and the truth should come out, said Union Minister Narayan Rani. In an affidavit filed in the Supreme Court, Maharashtra government said that it is ready and willing to hand over the investigation into the 2020 Belgar lynching case of Sadhus to the CBI and would have no objection to the same. In this 1983 World Cup hero, Roger Bini is set to succeed Saurav Ganguly as the next BCCI president, while Rajiv Shukla will continue to be the vice president. While it's not entirely clear yet, Jay Shah, who was also heavily dipped to be the new president, is selected to continue as the BCCI secretary. Bini and the rest of the finalized candidates for the office bearers post will file their nominations on Tuesday. Candidates can file their nominations on Tuesday and Wednesday. The BCCI election, which will now be a mere formality, will take place on October 18. Speculations around Bini, who has served as a national selector in the past being a surprise candidate for the coveted post, was triggered when the former India Seamus name appeared on the BCCI's draft electoral roll for the elections and the annual general meeting as a representative of the Karnataka State Cricket Association. In the past, KSCA was represented by their Secretary Santosh Minon in the board AGM of the board. The elections will be held here on October 18. The scrutiny of the nominations will take place on October 13 and the candidates can withdraw their nominations later by October 14.
After the successful completion of the first phase of online training, the firm and Television Institute of India in collaboration with the Department of Information and Public Relations will start the second phase with a basic course in smartphone filmmaking for ST participants residing in Nagaland. The event is scheduled to be conducted from October 17 to the 21st. Updates on October 11 from the IPR informed. The training is being imparted free of cost as part of the Azadi Kamrit Mots of Celebration, which will be conducted offline at the Directorate of Information and Public Relations in Kohima. According to the IPR, the participants should belong to scheduled tribe and should be 18 years and above. There will be no course fee. However, participants are required to pay Rs 500 at the time of registration, the IPR stated. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday dedicated Sri Mahaka Lok in Madhya Pradesh Sudan to the nation. The total cost of phase one of the project is around Rs 850 crore. Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chohan was also present. Before dedicating the project to the nation, the Prime Minister inspected the first phase of the Sri Mahaka Lok corridor. Earlier, PM Modi performed puja at Lord Mahakal Temple in Ujjain. Prime Minister Modi wore a traditional South Indian veshti with dhoti for the prayers. According to Prime Minister's office, the phase one of the Mahakal Lok project will help in enriching the experience of pilgrims visiting the temple by providing them with world-class modern amenities. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.